You remember when you were a kid and it was all about the imagination when it came to toys. And these days, those toys have become so high tech, imagination seems like a thing of the past. But at Port Discovery, it's still all about being creative and being creative with tinker toys. Nora, Moyn Nora Moynihan joined us this morning with very mo a lot more on what's going on at Port Discovery with these kind of toys. This is something that goes back to when I was a kid, when you were a kid. We all thought they were made for us. It, weren't they? No, 1913. The first 1913? ones were invented. Yes, and they came on the market and actually did not do very well at the American Toy um, Fair. Well, they so clearly really didn't know what they were talking about. I know, it's unbelievable, but the inventor was a stonemason. That's what I wanted to ask, yeah. because that's an amazing story. How did he get the idea for this? Well, he was watching his children outside playing with spools uh, from thread and some pencils, and they were putting them all together, and he got this great idea. Maybe I'll make a toy out of this. And sure enough, here we are today playing with these toys. All right, so now you said this was not a very big hit back in 1913. Why not? I, Probably a marketing tool. Um, some yeah. of the, the retrospect that's on the exhibit explains the history of the Tinker Toy. And they talk about how, through marketing and the way they made this great can and the colorfulness of it, basically inspired people to want to play with it. I'll tell you what, and it's something that's certainly lasted generations. You think 1913, sure this toy came around, just had some images right there from Port Discovery. Mm -hmm. Kids playing with this. And it seems like with toys and kids today, imagination is removed. It's right there for you to play out. It's a virtual world. It is. But they get in there and they get their hands on things like this. They get a much different reaction, don't they? It's totally minds on, hands on. They're creating things and inventing things and feeling inspired and realizing, wow, I'm an engineer. I'm a scientist. I learn about math doing this. And they're not thinking that as they're doing it, but they're experiencing it and they're feeling competent and gaining those experiences that they need to have. All right, we were talking about with this as I was playing with this as we were going, mm -hmm. I pointed out that I'm someone who believes in symmetry. Yes, oh, you are. Geometry. <laughs> yeah. Geometry. Now, you also talk about this with Tinker Toys. This is great. And then we've got erector sets. We do. That was my favorite when I was a little girl, the metal erector set and our screwdrivers and making all these things with pulleys and learning about simple machines and again, at Port Discovery, when you come visit the Tinker Toy exhibit, one of the great things is you have a chance to actually make wind-driven machines. We have fans set up, and you can put it in really? front of it, and it'll spin if you create it correctly. Do you let um, older kids come play? We let anybody who wants to come play. But you have to behave yourself. Behave yourself. I will absolutely <laughs> behave myself. Now, real quickly with this, Nora, if you have one confession from when you were a kid playing with toys because we didn't have imagination, mm -hmm. what did you do? What did I do? Sure. Loved chemistry sets. Would make fireworks in the basement with a spoon, sulfur, and a little bit of copper, and light it up, and then I would get in trouble. I uh, built houses out of Lincoln Logs and then set them on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Port Discovery. It is all about the Tinker Toys. Throughout the month of September, build your imagination. Port Discovery, the Children's Museum, 35 Marketplace in Baltimore. PortDiscovery.org. North, thank you so much for Thanks. your time this morning.